Where is Chef You Whack? Can you do another Chef You Whack video? I need Chef You Whack to come back. How do you do another Chef You Whack? Will you do another Chef You Whack? Chef You Whack, please. All right, all right. It's back. Welcome back to Chef You Whack, my cooking show where I make various Overwatch dishes inspired by Overwatch heroes. Everybody kept requesting it, so I thought in celebration of Overwatch 2, we're gonna be making a French Canadian sword churn poutine recipe made with the same potatoes as my aim. Get it? Because it's it, like. Potato and the jokes are still the same even after a couple of months of leaving. But to start off the episode, I just feel like it needs some, a little bit of something. That's better. Oh God, it's dripping. I'm not getting my security deposit back for this place. To make this poutine recipe from Sorgen, you're gonna need potatoes for the French fries, chicken and beef broth to make the gravy, garlic and onion powder. The only two spices in this dish because we're Canadian. We've never heard of spices because we were a British colony. Cold water and cornstarch and also vegetable oil that we milk straight from a vegetable. Worcestershire sauce. Huh? And this isn't an Overwatch recipe without a little salt, or should I say a lot of salt. Now the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wash your potatoes because they've been a naughty boy. Oh, you've been a naughty boy. You've been a naughty boy! I've been playing a lot of Overwatch 2 recently and it's, you know, it's still the same game! It's still the same game! Once you calmly wash your potatoes, then comes everybody's favorite part of Chef Uwak, when I have a knife in my hand. <laughs> There have been some critics over the past couple years that have judged my chef cutting skills. That's why you use a freaking gun! I decide, you know what, let me do it both ways to show y'all the inefficiency of the traditional way. It's not as quick, and frankly, not as fun. As some of the kids would say, they would call this... <clears throat> Cringe. I just noticed something. I might have broken my knife with my technique. Bruh. That's not my fault. That's this manufacturing knife's fault. So when you're done cutting up your traditional Canadian potatoes and you put them on a plate because, oh, you're gonna get so many comments saying that it's unsanitary. I don't think bacteria is the thing I have to worry about in this kitchen. Once you finish cutting the potatoes, AKA making them look like me in middle school, you're gonna fill up a pot of water because we're gonna have them chill out. For whatever reason, we need to give them a bath, I, I, I don't know why. Now, it says we need to soak them in cold water. My apartment doesn't have ice. I thought we were living in the 21st century where we had technology, but I was wrong. So I decided to get a little bit creative and just use ice packs to cool down the water. So we're gonna let that soak for not one hour, not three hours, it's two, two hours. I skipped the two, you already knew that. But in the meantime, while we wait, we're gonna go do something to compare these Canadian poutine french fries to what I think are the superior poutine ways. The American poutine way. Can I get one order of cheese curds, please? Can I just get one order of KFC? Can I get please? one large order of french fries, please? I got the trinity of fast food. Meanwhile. Now, once the two hours is up, you're gonna... J you're gonna... You're gonna drain the french fries, just like what your mom did! I'm sorry if there's any mothers out there watching. I'm sure you're you're wonderful, wonderful people. Look at all that potato, all long and firm and... Hey, yo! But now comes the part that I like the most. You're gonna set your pan baking sheet, and then just like a newborn baby, you're gonna set their little crib out, and then you're gonna throw it on the bed! Because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pat dry very calmly, very carefully. We're gonna bask these french fries in vegetable oil. This is getting a little bit too close to American french fries because, well, we're using oil that we probably invaded a country for. Just like, get, get, get your fingers all up in there. If you gotta just finger it a little bit harder to ensure that all the oil is evenly distributed. All right, and then we have officially oiled the french fries, but now comes the next step, which I, what what's the next step? I forgot. Already. Now it says to place like uh, on a single layer, so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to separate some of y'all. We're gonna have a plan for these french fries later, but for right now we have a single layer of fries that have yet to be frenched. Now we're gonna preheat this oven to, that's the timer, we're gonna preheat this oven to 
450 degrees. We're gonna cook these single layers of french fries for 20 minutes. Now, you might think that's absurd, but then we're gonna flip it over and then let it cook for another 10 minutes. Like, th 30 minutes for real? No, 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 no. This is America, all right? We don't always use ovens, because here in America, you just need a pot and a canola oil. What the heck is a canola? And it says to use a thermometer to measure its temperature. What am I made of money here? I can't afford a thermometer, so I'm just gonna use my finger to test out its heat. So while the oil's cooking up, next we gotta prepare the gravy. And every time you say gravy, you have to say it like this. What? I'm gonna measure one and a half cups of beef broth. Next is the chicken broth, which is just basically chicken pea. And it's time to crack open the delectable spices. Really only two spices. Whatever. Just get half a teaspoon of both of these. There is the onion powder. But while that's heating up, then we're gonna get the horse sire sauce. So get one in there and the second one. Mm. Then it says to whisk together. I don't have a whisk because, well, whisks are for <laughs> Why do you think cats have whiskers? So that's why I'm using a spoon. And also because I forgot to buy a whisk. We're gonna need to put two and a half a tablespoons, and not teaspoons, don't be a baby, get it a full table in there, of cornstarch. Break out the bottled water because you refuse to use Florida water, and you're gonna whisk that with a spoon because remember, we, we don't use whisks in this house. All right, so once we got that together, we still have to wait for this guy to come to a boil. So we're just gonna give it some words of encouragement, like, like come on, man, y you can get it up. I know you can do it. I you're just a little bit nervous. It can happen to anybody. It can happen to anybody! Well, neither of these are ready, but you know what is ready? These boys- Ten seconds later. Stop, stop, stop! How are you supposed to flip french fries? S shut up, timer! I'm trying to flip them! So we're gonna- Sorry, I- we're gonna put- I'm freaking out, man. You're still cooking. You're steaming. I don't know why you're not boiling. It's, it's so hot, man. I guess while we're waiting for that to boil, I think it's time to sacrifice some french fries in the oil. Ah! Do not overflow. If you overflow, we're gonna have some problems. I don't know if plastic is supposed to go in hot oil, but it's- it's gonna happen. Oh, those boys are frying. So I'm just gonna take a wild guess that these are done. So we're gonna fish these out the best that we can. And, wait, that actually worked out flawlessly. Oh, that's perfect. I guess while we're at it, let's just add the water, uh, cornstarch, cummy wummies. I kind of wish I had a wish. A wit, a wit, a wit, a wish, a wit, a I wish I would die because I don't want multiple things yelling at me. We're gonna turn all this off. Okay, just take these out very quickly so the fire alarm doesn't set off. The, oh, these boys are crispy. Look at these. Now that we got the fries and we got the thick gravy, you might be wondering, Zach, where's the cheese? I already beat you to it. I got cheese curds right here. You might be thinking to yourself, Zach, God, you're really ugly. Why did you come back? Also, that's not cheese curds hurtful no one here just sells cheese curds so i googled it and apparently it's just cheddar cheese so let's just cut this into squares <laughs> boom there we go editing magic we have cheese curds we have the oil fries that look burnt but they're, they're not burnt we sprinkle on the cheese curds oh and last but certainly not least we have the thick mama gravy of canada so let's spoon some in and Oh, so slowly drizzle it on. And there she is. Ladies and gentlemen, after months of waiting for Chef Duac to return, we come back with a banger with Canadian Sojourn Poutine! Well, you might think the French delectables stop there. No. I decided to go all out for another cuisine of Canada. I got 15 bags of ketchup chip. Ketchup chips? Really? We out here eating ketchup chips in Canada? What, what is, is this place? place? F the chips for right now. Let's dig in to the poutine. I know it's a simple French Canadian dish with French fries and cheese curds and gravy, but oh, am I excited to try it. I'm having mixed feelings about this. At first I was caught off guard because, ooh, the cheese. But then the gravy hit my tongue. It's like, ooh, the gravy. And then the french fries hit in. The, the french fries are, they're, 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 they're a little limp. It's not my fault though. It can happen to anybody. So this is where we take our oven fries. This is why I made two patches. 
No, that's better! I mean, it's kind of what you expect. You expect french fries that are very, very crispy with some crazy drizzle on there and then some cheese curds to, for whatever reason, go into your mouth. I don't know why they decided to top it off with cheese curds, but I mean, it adds a nice little soft texture to the food. Just look at these french fries, all crispy and nice and tender and crunchy with the cheese curds slightly melting from the gravy and oh, the gravy, the thick Canadian gravy. Mwah. But it's not the best way to have poutine. Oh, there is a better way. There is also the American way. Now you might be wondering, Zach, well, what's American poutine? Is that even a thing? Yes because I just made it up. You're gonna need McDonald's french fries, deep fried cheese curds, gravy straight from Kentucky. Drizzle that all over. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm. Now you might think that we have all the ingredients for American poutine, but no, 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 no. We gotta top it off with one last thing. A double cheeseburger. This is American poutine. Deep fried cheese curds with their french fries and gravy. Look at that. Mm. This is the proper way to eat poutine. Mm. I can feel my arty is already starting to clog. Mm. Here, here, here's the freaking ketchup chips. You have like a normal rigid Lay's potato chip with whatever this ketchup dust is. Now, I mean, it's all right. It's not that bad, all right? It's not that bad! That was the returning episode of Chef You Whack with Sojourn's Canadian Poutine. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode and hopefully we can make more. A lot of people were wondering why I stopped doing these episodes. It's not that I didn't want to stop doing them, it's that people just kind of stopped watching. You want to see more Chef You Whack episodes? I'm not going to tell you to like the video, but it would incentivize me to make more of these. And it'll let me know that you're actually enjoying them too. But until the next episode of Whatever here I decide to make based on their country of origins, I will see you in the next episode of Chef You Wax. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come and Overwatch 2 videos to come. And bye.